what's up y'all so we've received a moped style bike from Hemiway. now i'm real excited about this because Hemiway used to be my favorite bike uh, it was a Hemiway cruiser and uh, what i liked so much about that bike was it was very durable and the pedal assist was like almost perfect um on that bike and i like the speed like i just all around i like the Hemiway bike and it was my favorite bike i think for like two years so i'm really thrilled that uh Hemiway sent me their first adult uh, moped style bike and this bike is so new to the market i don't even have a whole bunch of specs on the bike yet i do know that it has a 48 volt 20 amp hour battery and a 20 is up there with the highest amp hours that i get for a bike that's not like a long range e-bike supposed to take you up to 80 miles per charge don't know how fast the bike goes um, we're going to test that out i don't know how heavy the bike is uh, but the net weight of this box is 88 pounds <laughs> I don't know the maximum weight of the rider. Hopefully we'll figure that out in the user's manual. I do know the bike has dual suspension and I think it has all-terrain tires. And I know it has a 750 watt motor. To purchase this e-bike, feel free to use my link and my code in the description below to get a discount. Also, I am doing an e-bike giveaway. If you want to be included in this giveaway, you have to be subscribed to the channel. And comment below on what type of e-bike you would like. So what we're going to do is we're going to unbox this. And uh, I think this bike is mainly for urban commutes. So we're going to go on a motor more urban area see what that's like uh, we're gonna go on road we're gonna go off road see what that's like and um yeah I'm pretty excited about this all right man you way more excited than you normally are what's going on like a motorcycle <laughs> this is what the bike looks like out the box um doesn't look like anything was damaged or chipped, uh, but it was not a whole lot of wrapping on this bike, uh, to be honest. It was a lot of wrapping around the bike. Did you just say? So this is probably the best looking bike you ever got. You think so? I don't know about that. Let's put it together first. <laughs> so this is what the bike looks like without the wrapping. It uh, doesn't look like anything was damaged or chipped. We're going to have to put the handlebar on, which is already attached via wire. We're going to have to put our front wheel on, and that is a 20 by 4 inch Hemiway by Kenda tire i've never had a hemiway by kenda tire before and i do think it's an all-terrain tire kind of hard to tell because it seems kind of slick but it's sticky at the same time look like we also got a coffee mug <laughs> cool it's the thought that counts they really did send us a mug that has hemiway on it all right let's see what's in this box here uh just as expected look like we have a a hat that's pretty cool. Look like the hat matches the mug. Our pedals, which are labeled. Our headlight, and I've never had a headlight quite like that before. Some standard tools here. Uh, a bell. That's our screws and bolt. All right, some, was that some stickers? Hey. All right, I guess that's if you want to design your bike. And our battery charger to charge our 48 volt, 20 amp hour battery. Also came with a manual. Instructions seem pretty clear. Looks like the maximum weight of the rider is 330 pounds. So the first thing we're gonna do is go ahead and put our front wheel on. So this is kind of a first. Looks like we're gonna have to unscrew this as well as uh, these two here in order to take this off so that we can put our front wheel on. And I'm using my own hexagon wrench set with the longer wrenches you will have to have another hexagon wrench on the other side this was kind of hard to pull out we had to really put the wrench in at an angle to kind of pull that out like that <laughs> so this is the axle that you're going to use to put your front wheel on that's by far the thickest axle that i've had on an e-bike before curious to know on how that's gonna uh, adjust my bike ride we're gonna uh, put this axle in and this uh front fork the size of the front fork rotate um, so I'm going to rotate this part of the front fork to make sure that the brake is towards the back. Now what's crazy is the other side of the front fork here, you can adjust the height of it. You can adjust the height of the front fork on the other side. So we had to kind of make sure the other side was aligned. I got my boy holding the bike up. We're going to go ahead and put this uh, axle in. Got that through. Okay. The other side of the front fork again, you can adjust the height. So we had to push it down. So that it was aligned. So now we're just gonna tighten up the axle on both sides. Again, you will need two hexagon wrenches to uh, tighten it up, just like we needed it to loosen it up. So putting this front axle on and this front wheel on might seem like overkill, but 
I actually really like this feature. I think it makes the front wheel more secure. All the e-bikes that I've reviewed on this channel, I usually feel like I have to lift the front wheel up first before I ride the bike to make sure that it's on tightly. Because if it's not, the front wheel is just going to slip out the bottom. And you don't want that when you're going, you know, 20 plus miles an hour. So I like the fact that even though this can be a little loose, um, at least the front wheel is not going to come out the bottom of your front fork here because it catches here. So we got the bike put together only took us about 20 to 30 minutes. The hardest part to put on was the front axle because it's so big. But again, I like the axle setup because I think it makes this bike a little bit safer to ride. This moped style e-bike is not all of that compact. Um, I think from wheel to wheel it's like five feet, eight inches long. The seat based on where you're sitting and its distance from the floor is about two feet, eight inches, two feet, nine inches tall. The handlebar is adjustable. You can adjust the angle. Now I want y'all to go through all of my um, bike videos to tell me is this the best looking bike that I've ever reviewed? Um, I like the design of it. I like the colors. Um, I even like the paint job. Like the paint job is very detailed here. Now I'm usually not a huge fan of Kenda tires because I think they're kind of slick. And um, I like to lean into my turns and I can't really lean in Kenda tires. But these are grippier than uh, any of the other Kenda tires that I reviewed on this channel. First time I've ever had a built-in cup holder on a bike before. Now this seat is about uh, 1 feet 10 inches long. That's about 6 inches wide. And uh, it is pretty comfortable. Um, and I think the Mopad style bike, you're only as good as your seat. Uh, to be honest, because you really can't replace them usually. But this is a pretty comfortable. Get a look at the rear and front hydraulic disc brake. Look at that suspension. Now, I don't believe I've had this suspension on an e-bike before, so I'm curious on uh, whether it's going to make your off-road riding uh, comfortable. It is an air suspension, so you can remove this to uh, put air or remove air from your suspension using a uh, bike pump. And I guess air suspension versus coil suspension is personal preference. And I took some air out, so I'm just going to put just a little bit of air in the suspension. Give y'all an idea of the rear suspension. Look like the suspension in the front is adjustable in a couple of ways. Uh, number one, to lock out your suspension, you can turn it this way, or you turn this counterclockwise to unlock your suspension. There's also a knob at the bottom of your suspension here, and this is to uh, adjust your rebound. So rebound is when the suspension is engaged, um, how fast does it go back to its uh, original position? That's the rebound. So the rebound can be quick, or the rebound can be when the suspension is engaged, it returns slowly. Um, if you turn this clockwise, it's going to make your rebound slower. If you turn this counterclockwise, it's going to make your suspension quicker. I like rebounds that's more quick than slow. Give y'all an idea of the front suspension. Nice wide handlebar for a moped style e-bike. It's about two feet, four and a half inches wide. Of course, we got the brakes on the handlebar here. It looks like it might be easy to replace your uh, hydraulic disc brake fluid. It looks like we have seven gears for pedaling, and this is my favorite gear shifter. The grips are kind of firm, but it's not super hard. A rubbery material. I'm usually not a huge fan of the battery being under the bike like this, because I'm usually scared it's going to fall. But this is on there pretty securely, um, so I don't think I'll be worrying about that with this bike. And the battery is not concealed, but because it's under the body, you and the bike kind of protect the battery from the elements a little bit. But if you want to take this battery out, you use the key that came with the bike, turn it, and then you can take the battery out. Love that the crank set uh, cover here is steel instead of plastic. Really had a lot of issues with the plastic ones. We're now going to turn the bike on. We're going to press and hold the power button here. And uh, that turns my, looks like a semi-colorful display on. Looks like we have a thumb throttle for throttle only. If I want to turn my headlight on, I'm going to press and hold the plus button. And my semi beefy headlight is on and my rear light is on let's go through some of the basic display items on this display again we do have our headlight indicator we have our battery life here we did just charge the battery uh, we have uh, our pedal assist mode look like that's there so if i go up a mode if i press the plus button looks like i have five different pedal assist modes here i have my uh, speed calculator down here we have trip mileage so how long did i 
ride on my last bike ride. And if we click the M button here, we will get more features. So it looks like that's my average speed, my maximum speed. So now that's my, how long has the bike been on for? Uh, it's been on for two minutes. Click it again. That's my odometer. I'm not gonna go into the advanced thing, but I will say, I like Hemiway's older display a little bit better, even though this looks better and it's more appealing to the eye. The older displays did give you more options. Um, like you could change things like your pedal assist sensitivity. So to go into my advanced settings, I'm gonna press and hold the plus and the minus button. Okay, we're first gonna go through our general advanced settings. This first one is to clear your trip mileage. So if I wanted to clear my trip mileage, I uh, click plus to change that to a yes, and then I click the M button, go to the next setting. This is how bright do I want my uh, display. So I'm gonna make that as a five for now. Click M to go to the next one. This is whether you want your headlight to turn on automatically or not. One is on, two is off. This is how we wanna calculate our speed. We can do kilometers or miles per hour. We're gonna keep it at miles. This is your auto off. So if your bike is idle, how long do you want it to be on uh, before it turns off by itself? From these settings, you can't go into more advanced settings by pressing the minus and the M button. Press and hold minus and M. And this will take us to another set of settings. You do have to enter a password. So we're gonna uh, press M to go to the next number there. So I think the password is uh, zero five, pressing up on the plus on the panel here, one zero. We're gonna click M to go to the next setting. And this is the setting that I wanna change. This is our limit speed. We're gonna make sure we're going the fastest that we can go. And I think that's in miles per hour. So it looked like 28 is the fastest that it say it can go, but we're going to test that out. And I think that's all the settings. So we are about to try out the different pedal assist modes, starting with mode one. Uh, let's go to a lighter gear. Let's see how fast I go in mode one. Okay. <laughs> Seemed like the pedal assist kicked off right away. But uh, that actually ain't bad. So, um, this pedal assist sensitivity isn't bad is what I mean. So, 14, 15, okay, almost 16 miles per hour, mode one. So we're now going to switch it to mode three, pedal assist, let's see how fast we go in mode three. Okay, the pedal assist does kick off right away, but uh, it's just, I think the sensitivity is just low. So it's, um, you have to kind of really kick it a little bit to get it going. But uh, okay, 20, 21. Okay, felt like I was still climbing. Now it's time to switch it to mode five. And we're gonna see how this goes again with the low sensitivity. I'm gonna go to highest gear anyway. Yeah, we're going, okay. Fellas, just kicked off right away. Let's see if we can get to our maximum speed here. 22. Okay, almost 25. Uh, but that's a short strip. We might have to try out the maximum speed later. What'd you think of the suspension? Good. Bell assist. You gotta really kick that thing to get it going, don't you? I give the pedal assist a three out of Hemiway C5, uh, what are your thoughts? So, Hemiway is a big name in this household, first uh -huh. of all. Right, we like Hemiway. We love Hemiway. The, our first Hemiway is 
amazing. <laughs> Come, I, I love it. So I'm really, really excited. Look of the bike. Mm -hmm. The best looking bike I've, I've reviewed. Looking, out of all the moped bikes we've gotten, the best looking okay. bike. Suspension is also very good. Yeah, the good suspension. It's very adjustable good. in the front and the back. Yes. Yeah. However, <laughs> anyway, y'all disappointed me. Oh man! Y'all disappointed me with this bike. The pedal assist, I give it a three out of ten. Okay, pedal like assist. You you have to pedal with all of your might <laughs> to get some speed on this. And I was on mode five. So Only way I was able to get up to like twenty three miles an hour is oh, you have to really kick like it. <laughs> so. I do not like that at all. The the bike is comfortable. The seat is comfortable. Mm -hmm. um, I like the the little cup holder. The cup holder, yeah, the yeah. built-in cup holder. The, this is a thumb throttle, mm -hmm. and the the throttle goes fast. The throttle goes now, fast. I can get max speeds on the on throttle only, but if I'm pedaling, I just can't do it. It handles turns really well. The brakes are really good. So how about this? Uh, give me a rating with the pedal assist the way it is now. What would you rate this bike? With the pedal assist the way it is now, I'm giving it a six. A six, okay. Mm -hmm. If they could give you a, a display where you can adjust your pedal assist sensitivity and you could fix the pedal assist issue, what would you give this bike? That would bump that up to at least eight and a half. Eight and a half. Maybe even a nine. Maybe even a nine, okay. So we're gonna get our point of view shots in. <clears throat> I'm gonna start by testing out these Kinder tires, uh, which usually don't do very well on the gravel test that we're about to do because they're usually kind of slick, but these Kinder tires are a little bit different, so let's see how we do on gravel. All right, a little slipping. <clears throat> I still feel a little slipping, but not as much as normal. Uh, let's break here. Uh, not bad. And let's go through some, uh, do some basic off-road riding. We'll do more later. Go through some wet grass here. I think there's a little bit of mud here too because I rained yesterday. So, uh, so far so good though. This suspension is really delivering here. Yeah, that suspension is top-notch. Um, from a moped bike st standpoint, I definitely say top three, but let me not jump the gun. Let's do more off-road riding later. Now, normally with Kenda tires, I would uh, not advise to lean into your turns, but these are a little more grippy than my average Kenda tires. So I'm gonna try to do a little leaning here. Hope I don't slip. Okay. Uh, yeah, these are more grippy than Kenda tires uh, that I normally get on e-bikes. So I guess they fixed that problem, but they're not as grippy as um, Chow Yang tires, in my opinion. Um, but they're pretty good. All right, we're now gonna do some off-road riding with some heels. Uh, really test out this suspension here. Go on here. Okay. And the shaking that you're hearing is I put my keys in a cup holder. So. All right. Not bad at all. Okay. Keep going here. Yeah, the suspension definitely delivers. I think I've had maybe like, I would say maybe two better. This is like, I would say number three regarding off-road. Let's go more. Yeah, that's good. And the fact that you can adjust the rebound and the compression in the rear, pretty good. So yeah, top three suspension for moped style e-bike. Like I will say, it does seem like you have to do one hard pedal to um, get into your pedal assist mode. I'll give you an example of what I'm talking about. I'm in mode three now, right? I'm about to switch to mode four. See, there's no change, right? I have to really kind of kick it. And then I'll go a little bit faster in mode four. So 
That's why I always say it's good for a bike to be able to give you the ability to change your color of sensitivity. Because I think this might be a little um, less sensitive than it should be, maybe. I'm 5'11", uh, six feet with shoes on. And uh, in order for me to be comfortable on this bike, I have to get all the way to the back of the seat. Um, almost like where I'm hitting the plastic. Knees are not coming as high as most moped style bikes with my knees be like up here. But it's still higher than I would like. A little low for me, but I could, I could do this. I could do this. So we are about to test out the maximum speed. Throttle only, so I'm not going to pedal. See how fast we go, and I'm in mode 5. See how fast we go here. Okay, 22. 23, 24. 26. 27. I right, look like about 27, 27.5. So we're not gonna try to max speed pedal assist. This bike is very gradual. Again, you have to kind of kick it a little bit to get the pedal assist going. Okay. Twenty-three. Twenty-four. Twenty-eight. All right, about twenty-eight. Twenty-eight point four. Max speed. Pedal assist. Now again, this is not the most compact moped style bike, but uh, I think it's compact enough. I can't go in and out of sharp turns on this bike and uh that with the ability to lean uh let's see let's go through this sharp turn up here see just how uh this bike performs here yeah yeah i guess it could be a little bit more compact because, you know but let's get around some people with some objects Yeah, but um, from a moped style e-bike standpoint, I do like them a little bit more compact, but this is not the biggest moped style bike that I've reviewed. Um, so the size is okay. So we are now about to try this max speed throttle only, but up a hill to see how much speed we lose going up a hill. This is a pretty steep hill. I'll say about 35, 40 degree hill, even cars down a little bit going up this hill so let's see how fast or how much speed we lose throttle only up a hill so going into the hill we got like 20 20 to 21 miles per hour we're in the hill now okay 16 15 that's actually pretty good. We usually lose about nine miles per hour. Looks like we only lost about six. Okay. So Hemiway C5 moped style e-bike. What I like the most about this bike is the stability uh, because you have an axle that's wider than most in the front of your bike. You do get a really stable ride. Uh, so that's good. And I also like the suspension. Uh, we have dual suspension and you can not only adjust the compression in your front suspension and in your rear suspension, uh, you can also adjust your rebound in your front suspension, which is, which is how fast does the bike go back to normal after the suspension is engaged in the front. So that makes for a very, very comfortable ride on road and off road. What I also like about the bike is the seat. The seat is really comfortable for a moped style e-bike. Seats are important on moped style e-bikes because a lot of times you can't replace them. So this is a very comfortable seat. Unfortunately, I'm 5'11". Uh, because I'm 5'11", I have to sit way back here on the seat. So I would say this is a very comfortable bike for you if you are shorter than 5'11". I like that the bike has a built-in cup holder. That's a really nice touch. 
The battery life is decent um, after a 13 mile bike ride, mainly in mode three. Also did a lot of throttle only. Um, I lost one out of five battery bars, so I think that's like 60, 55 to 60 miles per charge. I do think the drawback with this bike, and uh, it's a big drawback to be honest, is the display. So the display does not give you the ability to adjust your pedal assist sensitivity and out of the box, the sensitivity is really low. Um, like you really have to kick the pedal to get the um, pedal assist going. So a bike like that, you would need pedal assist sensitivity to accommodate riders with different levels of leg strength and a uh, different weight. But anyway, older displays did give you the ability to not only change your pedal assist sensitivity, but you could adjust how much power you get per pedal assist mode. So I know they have the technology. Don't know why they left it off of this display, but hopefully they will, um, Hemiway is good at releasing new products. So hopefully they will give us a display that you can actually change your pedal assist sensitivity. So with that pedal assist sensitivity issue, I will give this bike a seven uh, because it has a lot of other things going for it. If they can release a better display that gives you the ability to adjust your pedal assist sensitivity, I will give this bike a nine. Um, so comment below on what you would give this bike on a scale from one to 10. Any other e-bike you want me to review, also comment below. Thank you all for watching. Peace.